We got a question here from Shump and Co. Thank you for a twenty dollars super chat, Shump and Co. I am building an LR7 drone with Speedy B F7 and a 50 MPSC Zing 2 3110 1600 kV motors. Those are nice motors for a seven inch. Those are, if anything, they're a little bit overkill, but I think you're going to be happy with them. Only on this drone, the ESC keeps burning up. At 100% throttle, it uses 67 amps. Should I use a 65 amp ESC? Okay, so first of all, Shimp Co., there's a misunderstanding here about ESC amp ratings. If you have a 50 amp ESC, that is per channel. So a 50 amp 4-in-1 ESC should do 200 amps at max. Now that assumes that all the motors are pulling equal amps, and that's not always true. But if you're only pulling 67 amps, then 67 divided by 4 is 16.75. On average, each motor is pulling only about 17 amps. And so you are nowhere near your amp limit. So just set that aside. Also, that amp limit is a continuous amp limit. Most of the time, you'll have a burst limit that's even higher than that. So a 50 amp rated ESC could probably handle bursts of 60 or 70 amps for a few seconds. So it is not your amp limit that's burning out your ESCs. My guess would be that there is an electrical problem in one of your motors. Maybe your motor screws are too... That's That sucks because those are big ass motors and they're probably not cheap if you've screwed one of them up. But it is what it is. Uh, for example, if your motor screws are too long and have cut cut into the wires or the windings, uh, that could be causing this. Does it always fry the same motor on the ESC? If it was a bad motor, then I would also expect you to fry the motor, though. And you didn't say you're frying the motors. So that's pretty weird. That's pretty weird. Um, when do the motors fry? Like, what are you doing when the motors fry? Are you turtle moding? Yeah, don't turtle mode a seven inch. That's for sure. Um, Shimp is sure the motors are good. Um, what's frying your ESCs? Do they fry at high throttle, for example? The thing is, anything like PIDs, if he had bad PIDs, I would expect it to be frying the motors before the ESC. Usually the motor gets super hot and fries before the ESC does. I guess in theory, if you've got a big beefy 31 millimeter motor, maybe it's got, it can soak the heat. Glitchy, uh, Glitchy says, what's the average amp draw for a seven inch with motor that size? If So uh, if he's pulling the amp draw from the data sheet, then theoretically, the motors could be overdrawing the ESC. Like, if you're going high throttle and just staying there, you could be toasting the ESC by going full throttle. But yeah, as Ciati says, if it's letting go at a hover, that's just a bad ESC. I can't think what else would cause that. Are the motors hot? Or are the motors cool? Speedy B ESCs are not crap. He was just looking at it and it blew. No, that's Mike Bergman saying that. Um, well, Shump and Co., if you want to keep talking about this, let's uh, go back and forth via email. It's a little bit tough to do back and forth questions on a live stream with the chat delay. Um, yeah, he says, I was hovering and it popped. Yeah, that's 
I mean, that's... If you've blown two of them, I feel like there's a chance it's something about your build, but it's going to be difficult to figure out what that is. Like, like I don't know. Are you mounting... Are you getting solder ball? Hey, when you solder up those motor wires, are you spattering solder balls? Oh, show me a picture of the ESC after you soldered it up. And I'm going to look for solder balls. And if there's a bunch of solder balls, then I'm going to blame you. <laughs> that could be it. I don't know. 